Right, okay, good morning everybody. Hello and welcome to Friday's PE lesson, final PE lesson of the week. We're going to start by jogging. So get ourselves on the move, nice and early, building up that stamina. We're going to go for that full minute again on our tiptoes, nice and bouncy, getting ourselves ready. Okay, big massive shout out to everybody that's been watching on YouTube and everybody that's been joining in every day, Facebook Live. Our videos, our PE lessons over the last two weeks now have amassed more than 2,500 views. So thank you very, very much for getting involved, okay, staying active and improving your PE skills. Well done guys, keep it moving. So we're jogging on the spot. Today's lesson, we're gonna be looking at some cricket. We had a fantastic live dodgeball session yesterday and also uploaded a dance video um, from one of our sports coaches, um, our dance and gymnastics specialist, Lauren. Okay, so please do check that out. Especially if you're into the ants, keep moving. Well done guys, keep it going. Lots and lots of positive feedback, lots and lots of comments as well. Okay, big thank you to everybody who's been getting in touch. And five, four, three, two, and one. Stop there, well done. Give yourselves a nice big clap, everybody. Okay, so what we're gonna do today, just coming around, you will need something to be able to bat a ball with. So I've got two alternatives, I've got a tennis racket or I've got a cricket bat. Cricket's the aim of today, so ideally a cricket bat, but I know not everybody's got one at home. If you can make yourself a bat, absolutely fantastic. Right, so getting ourselves sorted. Um, also what you'll need, you'll need either a rolled up pair of socks to act as your ball. Um, for my rolled up pair of socks, I've got a bean bag. Or you will need a ball, so it's entirely up to you. We're just going to get moving again, so this time what I'd like you to do, I'd like to go for some high knees, so bring those knees up really, really high. Thinking about our athletics, our Usain Bolt, sprinting, really, really high knees, keep it going. We're going to try and do this for 30 seconds, turning it round, really, really, really high knees. And keep it moving. As I say, we're at Mansfield Primary Academy today, we are filming this P lesson. We can get it on for you at normal time and stop there. Give yourself a fantastic clap. Okay, so also what you'll need, I've got a wicket. Um, if you've not got a cricket wicket at home, absolutely fine. Just get yourself your toy box, okay, that can aim as your cricket wicket. And then set up, okay, a couple of markers a few steps away. So I've gone, so one, two, three steps away for one. And okay, four steps for the other to make it more difficult make your steps wider, okay, further distance, obviously I've only got a limited amount of space to film on, okay, and what we're going to do now is we're just going to go for some star jumps, so 30 seconds of star jumps, or as many as you can do in 30 seconds, off we go, so star and straight, keep it going, well done guys, count how many you can get, keep it going, Absolutely fantastic. 30 seconds, bringing it in now. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. And sorry to go off course, I can just see out of the corner of my eye some of the children from Mansfield Primary Academy getting involved from outside the library. So if you go to Mansfield Primary Academy, give me a cheer. Okay, we are we are at your school today. Um, we're working with the children, obviously, um, key worker children. Um, we're going to be going out doing some football, some tennis, some basketball, um, and a range of other things. I can just see a little bit of mischief going on. So, getting ourselves ready again. Okay, right, final challenge. What we're going to do, and we're going to go back to our Facebook Live from Wednesday, and it's going to be our plant position. So, what you need to do is you first of all need to get into a press up position. That's the shape we're looking for. But instead of holding our press up position, we're going to go down onto our elbows and we're going to see, got the clock in front of me to see how long you can hold this. This is a challenge for everybody. Okay, if you start to shake, if your back starts to arch or you start to dip, okay, game over for you guys. You've got to keep nice and straight and it's a challenge. It's you versus Mr. Bingley. So get yourself ready. Okay, into your press up and we are just going to hold onto our elbows. See how long we can go for. Just checking the time now. Strengthen your core muscles. 
You will start to shake eventually. You start to feel it on your muscles. Maybe back to, back to your legs first. Might be hard to hold that nice straight front support position. That's about 40 seconds, guys. You're doing really, really well. Hope you're all still with me. Once you come out of it, your attempt's over. Coming round again. Going around the clock. It's about 55 seconds. You can now start to feel, okay, a little bit of balance, maybe dipping. Can you hold it for a full minute? Can you go a little bit longer? And that's my effort for today. So it looks as though it's about a minute and 20 seconds. Guys, if you're still there, keep it going, keep holding it. Um, if you dropped out before me, not a problem. You can go back and work on this again. If you're still going, absolutely fantastic. If you dropped out at the same time as me, Again, not a problem. A minute and 20 seconds of plank is really, really good for children of your age, primary school children. Okay, keep it going. We're going to just make sure that everybody's back in the room. So hold your plank. If you're still in your plank, hold it there. Okay, can anybody get two minutes? We're coming around for the last 15 seconds for two minutes. Guys, really, 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 really impressed if you have. Okay, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two and one give yourself a big clap that's about two minutes of plank if you're still in that plank position okay if you want to rewind have another go challenge yourself after you've got a little bit of a rest you can but for now we're going to move on to our cricket so cricket first example is we're going to be bowling okay i'll show you with the rolled up pair of socks first of all okay into the toy box and then we'll move on to the ball so i've got one two three four five attempts okay so all you're going to do is from your marker okay and you can step this back a little bit you're going to step forwards you're going to point underarm tick tock and aim and unfortunately i've not managed to get the batsman out in my first go so second go stepping forwards tick tock okay opposite arm opposite leg point remember we're bowling and the batsman's out. Okay, not much scoring the runs off me there. Step in again, keep it going, guys. Take your time. Oh, good effort. And we're going again. Going again. Three, two, one. That's another batsman gone. Okay, final one. So step, bend your knee. Fantastic. And out. So four batsmen out of the five have been bowled out. How would I make that more difficult? Well, what I'd do is I would step back, okay? So what we're gonna do just with three, three rolled pairs of socks, step in. You can obviously go back and get yours each time. Okay, so I'm now the four steps back, bowling, step in. And out. Okay, we are going to remove the box. Just going to pop that to the side. And we're going to move on to the ball. Now, the idea of the ball is that the ball will bounce. And we want the ball to bounce once before it hits the wicket. So we're not looking for it to go straight. Okay, we are still bowling. And especially if you are in years five and six, I expect you to be at least. 10 big steps back from the wicket. So you've got your wicket or your toy box there, and you're gonna go one, two, three, and we're looking for 10 giant steps back, okay? So what we're gonna do, just move back the wicket, hopefully it's still in view of the camera. I'm gonna go from the blue. Year three and four, you should be aiming for about seven or eight steps. Year one and two, you should be looking at about five steps. You're gonna step, point, hopefully the ball bounces, and try and hit the wicket. Go and get your ball, or if you're lucky enough to have a selection, get yourself ready, it bounces, and it just touch the wicket. We're trying to aim for middle stump though, okay? Trying to aim for middle stump. 
getting ourselves ready. Oh, so we're looking to make sure feet together, point, step forwards. It's underarm bowling today. Tick tock, couple of practice swings, and then let go. So we're going to come back round to the middle stump. Gives you enough time to get your ball. Looking for that bounce in front of the stump, and middle stump hit. Okay, two more goes. So that takes us to six balls this time. Six goes. Every time we're working cricket, we're looking at sixes. Okay, six is the over. Probably the best place to do this is your back garden. So if you are watching this, okay, pause it. Maybe put it onto a portable device, a tablet, a phone. Take your equipment outside. You've got more space in your back garden. Okay, obviously, like I said yesterday with the dodgeball, if you are inside, please, please, please use a roller pair of socks. Please remove anything breakable. And then final one. Okay, just going to pop these down. We're going to look at our overarm bowling. So if you are ready, um, what I'd like you to do is with your marker, you would have your feet shoulder apart, you point, but this time your arm is straight like a windmill. And then you're going to lean back like a scarecrow, straight arm, come over, lift up, and bowl it in as well. So, and again, we're watching, we're pointing, feet apart, either side of our marker, so whatever we're using to mark, arm out, step back, lean back, balance, and bowl wasn't quite accurate there. Make sure as you're bowling, okay, your arm comes by your ear. Okay, so getting ourselves ready again, sideways on, bowling by our ear. Okay. And obviously, for the last three, if you are a cricketer, you can forwards on our tiptoes, point, windmill. Ah, oh, that was an awful bowl. Long time since I've played cricket. Okay, summer sport, not quite got the, not quite got the summer yet. So have another go, jogging on the spot. Bring the ball round, windmill, bowl, just over. It was on target. The bounce has obviously defeated me there. Not quite got the batsman out. So jogging on the spot, especially for the fives and sixes, this is getting ourselves ready, bringing the ball round in a big circle and bowl. I think that would have been perfect if you hadn't hit the ball. We're going to try that one once more. That would have been a great one to finish on. So jogging on the spot, okay, getting ourselves ready, whichever up where you're bowling and just a bit high with the bounce. So go and collect your equipment, okay, get yourself ready. Flat equipment, fantastic. Still with me, guys. Welcome to cricket. Welcome to Friday's PE lesson. Put them down there. And the next thing you will need is you will need a bat. So for this, okay, ideally you want your rolled-up pair of socks, and you want your rolled-up pair of socks to sit on a tee. So anything you can use um, that will support the ball there. You've got your wickets, okay. We'll pop this back. Got your toy box. Now what you need to do is you need to have two hands on the bat, okay? Your non-writing hand goes at the top and your writing hand goes at the bottom. You bring your hands together, bend your knees, effectively where your marker is, where your batting tee is. You bend your knees, lift the bat back, step and strike, okay? Trying to get a nice, strike of the ball and swing through. So, I'm going to try that again. Okay, I'll show you what to do if you've only got your tennis racket at the minute. Got a nice flat back, bending our knees. Okay, bat up, step, and push through the shot, and strike it there. Okay, so it's not baseball, we're not starting up here. Okay, we need to make sure when we bend our knees, the bat basically is parallel with our wickets, and we step and we strike. Okay, reset, bending on ease, lift up, step. Make sure you connect with the ball. Okay, a little practice swing there. So step and strike. Again, basically what you're trying to do is you're trying to hit the ball away from your wickets, away from your toy box. Okay, and you're trying to defend any ball that comes towards you. Great starting point for the younger ones, the key stage ones. Okay, for key stage two, Still need your marker, okay, we'll be a little bit back. Get an adult to stand this side, okay, so the adult would stand here. You drop the ball, okay, 
And two bounces, Adam's going to step back. So the ball bounces twice, step and hit again. Okay, make sure you've got an adult dropping it for you. It's very difficult, old ones, for you to drop it for yourself. So adult will stand that side. Okay, get yourself ready. Arm the ball, step. And now, as you step forwards, okay, your feet aren't just staying together. Your feet point, okay, your front foot points forwards to where you're hitting. Okay, getting ourselves ready again. So, bending our knees, looking eye on the ball. That's mainly for the older ones, okay. This is why outside in the garden would be best. And to make it even more difficult, we could get the adult bowling the ball from here. The ball bouncing, and as the ball bounces in, the person with the bat, okay, hits the ball and tries to drive it forward, nice and positive, stepping in to the shot. So, still with me guys, fantastic, we're going to get the balls, and we're going to show you how to do this with the tennis racket. Effectively, it is the same. So, five will do, try and have six goes. Later on, try and bowl at your adult or your sibling if you can. This lesson's much, much better if you do it outdoors. So, tennis racket, okay. We're gonna show for the younger ones. Now, again, it's a shorter handle, but you want your non-writing hand at the top, writing hand at the bottom, okay. Non-writing hand, it's a little bit, okay. It's a little bit like hockey. Your fingers for your top hand face the wickets, okay and your fingers for your bottom hand face the ball, okay, the direction you're hitting. So you bend your knees, you step, and you push again. And we're trying to push through, try and sweep through. So, one more time, bend our knees, okay, step, strike that ball. Okay, one more time for the younger ones, remember six goes with this one, six goes for batting, step, and strike. Nice straight drive again, eye on the ball. Last couple, again for the other ones, if you've got a tennis racket, we've just shown you with the bat, we've shown you different ways you can do this. So, adult drops the ball for you, okay, bounces twice, the adult steps back, you've got your hands, you step. And we're not playing tennis, we are playing cricket, so we're driving, okay, and trying to keep that ball in a nice straight line if we can. Okay, getting ourselves ready, fantastic. Give yourselves a fantastic clap, guys. Well done. Okay, so whether you're using a cricket bat or whether you are using a tennis racket, it does not matter. Final one, and this can be playing siblings in the garden. The ball that's hit, okay, fielders need to go and get. It doesn't matter whether you're using toy boxes, the wicket, okay, and getting it in to get you out, or you're using actual stumps, collecting up these balls. Guys, you're doing really, really, really well. This will work incredibly well for you if you've got your adults go and play over in the back garden. Stay, 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 stay. Or you've got a sibling. Okay. So, final one. As I strike this ball, whether I'm striking it off the cone, I then have to run and then tap my bat in to get the point. Okay. What the fielder does, or the person who's bowled it, is they have to get the ball and they have to dob the cone that I'm running to. So the ball's been hit, the batsman starts running, fielder has to get the ball and the fielder has to dob, okay, the cone before the batsman gets there. So before the batsman taps down. Year five and six, looking for 10 big steps between your wicket and your marker. For year three and four, we're looking for about eight steps. And for year one, two, foundation, we're looking for about five steps, okay? So it doesn't matter how you're striking this ball, whether you're striking it off the batting tee, whether the ball bounces, you're striking, and then you're running. Don't have the delay. Don't watch your ball, because if you watch the ball, the field's got a really good chance of getting it, okay? Um, getting ourselves ready again. So it might be that the ball gets bowled in from from the, uh, from the end you're running to. So, the bowler might bowl the ball in, it bounces, and you've got to try and defend, run, please don't watch your ball, and tap in. Obviously, it's a longer run for you guys. Um, that's basically the fundamentals that we're looking at. So, for bowling, 
if you're bowling and whether it's your roll up pair of socks or it is your ball okay for a ball you step in okay you're looking for the ball to bounce go and get your ball go and get your rolled up pair of socks for the rolled up pair of socks they're probably not going to bounce so you need to try and make sure it goes straight in there's your bowling technique overarm we've said a couple of different ways we can do this if we're just learning to bowl overarm like a scarecrow step over and there we go if we are a cricketer, we're missing our cricket, you can set up your bowling practice nice and nice and easily, jogging on the spot, bringing the ball around, bowl, looking for it to bounce, didn't quite work, okay, it's very, very difficult at the short angle, try again, okay, this time I'm aiming for it to hit the wickets, it bounces, and oh, just over again, so there's our bowling, just to recap our batting, you ideally need a marker, you need to be sideways on, Lift the bat up, okay, no higher than the wicket. Don't be lifting the bat up like playing baseball. Keep a nice straight bat, okay. Non-writing hand, fingers face the wicket, okay. Writing hand, fingers face the bowler. Bend your knees, step and strike, okay. Aiming to push through onto that front foot. Put all the power, transfer the power from the back foot into the front and we strike again, okay. That should give you that should give you lots and lots of ideas, okay, on how to improve your cricket skills. We also said if you've not got a cricket bat and we're using our tennis racket, okay, it's exactly the same to bend our knees a little bit more. Lift up, step, and play that shot again. Guys, thank you very, very much for watching, okay. Um, it, is, it is traditionally these Easter holidays next week, and there will still be lots of activities for you to do. Um, we are updating our online learning hub. There will be some Easter games, some Easter P resources, um, which will last over the two weeks. Um, we'll still continue to do these videos. We're going to go away. We're going to put together a plan of what, um, what we're going to deliver for you. Um, as I say, we've delivered most sports now. Okay, we're going to try and look and see if we can build week on week. Okay, maybe even have a, sp a specific sport okay, on a specific day. I'm not quite sure how it's going to work out. But we are going to keep this going. You've been really, really fantastic. As I say, over 2,500 views. Okay, thank you very, very much. Like I said in the live video yesterday, if just one person watched this video, okay, one child was still at home, still developing their skills, their PE, it, that, that's all we're doing it for. Okay, just so that you guys get to have the chance to continue your PE while, okay, we're dealing with this crazy time. Okay, learning from home. Guys, you've been absolutely fantastic. Give yourselves a massive round of applause. I am really, really, really impressed. Shout out to all of our partner schools, my staff. Okay, shout out to all of the key workers, all of the teaching, the support staff that work within the schools. Guys, you've been absolutely fantastic. Um, you need to turn to your parents, give them a big thank you for supporting you in your home learning. Okay, um, whether that's your schoolwork, whether that's your PE sessions. Thank you very much for staying with us. We'll see you soon. Okay, stay safe, stay at home and keep active. See you later, guys.